You know, I didn't ask for the title Chief Internet Evangelist. They said, what title do you want? I said, how about Archduke? <laughs> they said, well, you know, the previous Archduke was Ferdinand, and he was assassinated in 1914, and it started World War I. So maybe that's not a good title to have. Why don't you be our chief internet evangelist, considering what you've been doing for the last 35 years? So I said, okay, I think I can do that. My job, in some sense, is to get more internet built. We have three billion people online, we guess, we think. Many of them coming online by way of mobile. But that means there's four billion more people to convert. So I could use some help. So anybody who's watching this video, if you're interested in helping get more internet built, you should do that. It's really hard sometimes to imagine what people will do with technology. It's one of the most interesting side effects of inventing a mobile, for example, uh, or an application for it, is to discover ways that people have found to use it that you didn't think of at the time. The internet was just an engineering problem. It invites people to try things out. You know, please invent some new HTML web pages. Please invent some new applications. The network doesn't care, has no idea what's going on, just like a postcard doesn't know what you wrote on it. So uh, we ex experience people's um, creativity and their inventiveness without necessarily being prepared for it. We are not exactly ahead of technology. We're really behind it, except maybe for the science fiction writers, which is why I read a lot of science fiction, because it gives you ideas. He's on to something. On the average, I think we are behind an appreciation for what technology can do. I remember uh, reacting to this. I said, what did you think when they told you that you and your colleagues had won the Queen Elizabeth Prize? And the only thing I could think of was, the geeks are winning. The Engineering Prize focuses attention on something that most of us don't think about. We enjoy the fruits of engineering every single day, every time we get in the car or you know, type on our computers or take the uh, underground. We are enjoying the fruits of engineering and we don't even think about it. Because it was an engineering prize, it was such a different focus than the classic Nobel Prizes or the prizes for mathematics and the like. It was talking about the creation of things, the making of things. That's what engineering is about. If, if I ever retired, it would be to my basement where I have a whole wall full of science fiction, the wine cellar is adjacent, uh, the big screen TV is available, and you know, I will sit there, you know, sipping good quality wine and reading trashy science fiction. I would probably get a little antsy after a while and then I'd want to go do something else. I'm still excited about networking. I think I'm just as excited now as I was 40 years ago.